All right, welcome to another recap for NQ, August 4th, 2023, NFP Day. Now, NFP days are obviously, uh, it could be really good or not so good. Today happened to be one of those days where it was like really easy to trade. So hopefully you guys caught some of the A-plus setups that we've been talking about every single day. Um, you know, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure you do. If you haven't hit the like button yet, come on now. I need to know that you like the information, you like the concept, so hit that like button. So let's jump right into the content today. So first and foremost, we want to look at our king time, right? So let's pull up our king time. So you can see on our king time, once it loads, um, what type of structure were we in? What kind of market did we have? If we just look right here, we could see we were in a range, right? It doesn't take a rocket science to know that. So if we're in a range, usually most breakouts are going to fail. What's going to end up happening is prices are going to rotate from high to low, low to high, which means you're selling, you're selling high and you're buying low, right? Which is kind of the opposite of trend trading, but don't let that concept fool you because one thing to understand about how we trade here at Rankle Momentum Traders is we're always looking not just at the, the the larger time frame or larger period momentum, but we're looking at the short term momentum, right? And so we're going to drop into our 16 bar chart because that's where we actually begin to start looking for our opportunities to get into a trade, right? So from here, first thing you'll see here, and this is kind of the... Um, the logic behind our entry, our trades today. I think there was like four, like seven trades today, five winners, two losers, 276 ticks net, right? So really simple, you know, all we had to do is just draw this line here. Uh, that's our structure. We broke structure. Once we break structure, that's a shift in momentum. A couple ways you can look at it. This is the easiest way to look at it, right? And so you can see here, price starts ripping up, right? And then we hit double digit bricks. When we hit double digit bricks, we're probably gonna get a pullback and then we're gonna get a second leg up, right? I want you to make note of that. <laughs> we have double digit bricks, you're gonna get a pullback, but then we're more than likely gonna have a second leg up, right? So price gives us double digits, we break, right? We break resistance, you can see that right over here. So here was resistance, right? And then eventually what happens? We get our first pullback. Where do we get our first pullback to? Our trifecta. So we love the first pullback to trifecta. This is our money shot, boom. Now we don't just enter when price pulls back, we wait for our trend sniper confirmation because one thing about me is I don't want to have to think when I trade, right? The more thinking I do, the more money I lose. Did you guys get that? The more I think, the more I lose. So I want to automate as much as I possibly can. So at that point, 931, boom, confirmation signal. We got into the trade, went long, and then we rode that baby, boom, all the way to Pink Ludwig, and we exited right there. So let me see if I can zoom here so you can see how pretty that exit was. Bam, we just got out right there and then. Entry, exit, one trade, one kill over 100 ticks, what was that actually? Let's see where the first entry was, and we scaled into this bad boy. Uh, 100, 195 ticks on that first trade. Yeah, you know, so that was pretty awesome. And we called that live in our Discord room, so let me just show you uh, where that was. That was a 931, let me pull it up here for everyone here. So at 931, our VIP members got that alert right here, boom, okay? Buy, 5526, five, stop loss, take profit, profit hit, <laughs> right? Here's before picture, right? You can see that's when we got in, right on the confirmation of Trend Sniper. And this is after the fact, right? That's after the fact. And obviously we didn't close the trade here. So our trade, our auto trader is taking 100 tick take profits. My manual trades were trailing up and we're riding it all the way up. That's why you see um, my, the chart that I'm showing you guys is my actual manual executions. Okay. That's why I got, I got, I exited over here on my accounts, um, with my manual executions. So then the next play occurred. What happened there? Well, as expected, we get a rev bar down at pink Ludwig. If you look at the other bar periods, you'll see, um, you'll see congruency there, right? With volume. So that should give you some level of conviction to know that they're going to probably push it down, which they do. So then what happens? They set up. So we have this move up. Right, so this look at what's going on here. Higher high, right? And then they come down, and then they come up, try twice, and then they come down, right? So what we're looking at here, although they did not break that low, and that would be the true shift, right? When they take out a low and print a lower low. But notice what they did, they double bottomed. And a double bottom is pretty close to breaking a low, just so you know, okay? Um, and so at least in terms of how I look at the market, right? So if they get in a double bottom, more than likely they're going to break the bottom. And that's exactly what they do. They just trick everyone to think, go long, if they double bottom. No. <laughs> okay. There's a certain type of double bottom you go long in, but a double bottom like this, you don't want to go long on that. Okay. And so why? Because the momentum shifted. 
Well, how, how do I know it shifted? Well, look at what happened here. We're above our super trend. We're above our 50. What happened here? We're below our 50. So when you just look at the transition, when we're above to below, right? Trend filter red, price bounces off our SMA 200, push back to super trend. And I was a little concerned here. I even mentioned this in the room. I was like, I don't like how they closed above. I don't like that brick. But then they immediately failed, which was good, <laughs> right? And it came down two, three bricks, and then they pushed up again. The other clue to pay attention is when you have a leg one, that's, that doesn't reach double digits, that's usually a sign of weakness. Boom, light bulb, save that, write that down, okay? So their leg one up was only seven bricks. Now, if it was leg one up like 15 bricks, <laughs> that's a different story, okay? Because like, look, leg one up here was 28 bricks. Leg two up was what, 17 bricks, right? Leg one down, 17 bricks. So where's the momentum, right? We see the shift happen right there. But then on the pullback, now we don't know if it's a pullback or if it's going to go all the way back up to Ludwig, which I actually was thinking was going to happen, like a double test and then fail. But they gave us seven bricks and then pulled back immediately. They didn't even get to the 10th brick. That tells us something. Then they try again. Boom, two candles up. And then they fail again. Bam. And then we went in here and attacked it short, hit the profits. And then we uh, got out, I think it looks like most of it here. Yeah, it looks like we got most of it out here. Yep, on the on, on the on the trail with Super Trend. So that worked out really really well on that particular trade. And then what happens? Price comes right back down, takes out liquidity here, and then immediately gives us a nice little bounce. So then we started watching this whole situation unfold real time in the room, and it was like, yo, are they gonna like snap it down? Are they gonna take out these? Are they gonna get to the blue Ludwig level? So one thing to note. And I've learned this from a guy named Joseph. <laughs> He's a futures trader. Pretty cool. He's good. I like some of the things he talks about. Uh, but he talks about how you got to let sellers try twice. In this case, they tried three times and failed. So they tried once here. They tried twice here. And then they tried a third time right here. Right? And this, uh, our bot took a trade here. Let me just pop that here on the chart. Where was that? Yes. That was right, I don't think I sent a picture on that one, but that was right around 1031-ish or 1040. So you could see right here, 1032, right? One contract, we got short at 498, right? And our prof 100 tick profit got hit, okay? In fact, I'll go ahead and swap out the account here so you can see the actual execution of that trade. How about that? Let's do that. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it on the right chart here first. Yeah, there we go. I think this will this will do it. All right. Yeah. Gets a little cluttered here and I'm not trying to mess up my setup either. Uh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Let me also go naked with the chart. Hide indicators. All right. There we go. Boom, there you go. So this is our bot uh, entry. So our bot went long here, exited here. Our bot went short here, exited down here. Took another short here, exited here. Uh, at this point, we actually had a loss here. So we went long, got stopped out. Went long here, hit at hit. Uh, we got our profit over here. So this, this worked out. So this is where we had the whole situation where our sellers were trying, right? We talked about that, right? So we got long uh, here, profit hit. We got long here again. Looks like the trail got stopped out and then the bot got triggered again right here and then we hit that take profit over here. So that worked out really, really well and then at that point we just turned the bot off, right? So that was our our chart from the bot itself. The bot does trade better than me, um, but today I actually had a way better profit factor uh, than the bot, but we had about the same uh, um, uh, win rate, right? But anyways, let's get rid of all the drawings on here. So let's get back to this and conclude, right? So just looking back at what happened here, so we had price move back up, they liquidated uh, all the people who went short, so our initial balance was set, they came back and tested it. From here, we had another opportunity, uh, first pullback, right? Shift to first pullback, and it could have rode it all the way down. We had a big up and a big down. I mean, look, look, look how big of a move that was. 800 ticks up from top to bottom, 1,000 ticks down. And again, you don't need all that, right? Today, I think we clocked in like 279 ticks with the auto trader, I think I clocked in probably a little over 300, 
on my accounts, um, you know, so it's all good, <laughs> right? Uh, but lo just looking at this and being able to continue to train yourself to see the setup as it's happening, be able to execute. Now, the, the big thing for me is Trend Sniper, right? Because I'm not trying to, to, to say, okay, you know what, it's time to enter. Like, yes, I can do that. I've been doing it long enough to know when to do that and pull the trigger. But the fact is, Trend Sniper's telling me, yo, it's time to get in, right? They show me that arrow. It's like, okay, done. That's it. That's all I got to know. Hit, hit it for me. <laughs> <laughs> right? We get in, boom. And then we get another arrow right here. Hit it again, boom. We get another arrow right here. Hit it again, boom. And then over here, you would have lost. But who cares? Because you would have maximized like how many trades here? One, two, three, four, five winners in a row back to back, all the way back to Blue Luds, right? And that's where price basically consolidates for the rest of the day. What a day. What a Friday. And guys, you know, it, what we're doing, it's, you know, obviously it's a new community, new stuff, Renko momentum. I don't even think that's like a term yet. So I'm coining that term. I'm claiming it, right? Uh, we're putting together something really powerful and really awesome. So if you haven't already jumped into the VIP Discord room, trust me, you want to do it today with all the calls that we're, we're putting out there into our VIP group over uh, 270 ticks uh, in profit. We're gonna be launching a prop firm accountability starting this coming week. So if you haven't passed your evaluations or you, you have passed or whatever, but you're looking to take it to the next level, you wanna jump in there because we'll be kind of going over our strategies on exactly what to do uh, so you can pass your prop firm um, you know, honestly, it shouldn't take you more than a week to get it done and, and you don't have to blow up and you don't have to oversize to do it. Right. Cause we're also going to be dropping a ton of, um, classes in there. We have, uh, our pre-market analysis video that we drop every single day. So we're mapping out the levels, everything you're going to need to know. So honestly, if you're looking to take your training to the next level, I mean, it's just unbelievable the, the value of the content that's being, um, shared. And more importantly, you get to trade with me. <laughs> we get to trade side by side. Uh, I usually jump in there and start live streaming 15 minutes after the market opens uh, just because I want to be like 100% zoned in at the open. Um, but the whole time I am, you know, real time calling out what's going on through through, through um, Discord. And of course, we're getting those alerts in there as well. Um, but yeah, come join us. Come, come hang out with us. If you haven't already jumped into the VIP, we'll leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and register yourself for that. And uh, I guarantee you probably be the best investment you'll make in your trading career uh, for 2023. You know, the information we're going to share with you and things we're going to show you and teach you, no, no question, it's going to up your game, elevate your trading. Uh, it's going to remove a lot of the confusion and stress. You know, people are DMing me all the time, you know, like it feels like the market's going against me every time I get in. Seems like I, I just can't control my emotions. I get it. Look, I'm the same exact way. Trust me. I know my weakness. I know my flaws. So that's why we've built this system. So that way we can offset the human error aspect that, that interferes with being a profitable, consistent trader, right? So if that sounds good to you and you're looking to take it to the next level, you're going to need two things. Number one, you got to get into the VIP discord room. So then that way you can learn the strategy. You get exposure to it every day. Number one, right? Because without that, I mean, you can watch these YouTube videos, but there's so much more. This is just like 10% of what it actually is. Okay. The second thing you're going to need is DDTS, right? DDTS is the core fundamental foundational aspect of our process, right? So you need those two things. You get those two things. Uh, you're going to pass evaluations with us. You're going to make some money. You're going to be happy. I'm gonna become your new best friend. You're like, oh, I love Max. Max is helping me make money. He's my new best friend, right? <laughs> so I hope today's video, I mean, it was pretty short, straight to the point. It was a very easy trading day today. Hopefully you were able to cash in. Uh, Monday, we'll see what it brings. You know, obviously we don't wanna get overconfident just because we've had like four easy, easy days, right? Who knows, Monday could be a complete disaster, right? But the, the bottom line is, we got a system, we have a process, we follow it no matter what, we're robotic with it, okay? So look forward to seeing you guys in the Discord room. We'll be dropping actually a training that we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing an actual in-depth breakdown for the VIP group on exactly how I use the different uh, bar periods along with all the different tools that we have um, to basically pinpoint my A plus setups. I mean, these setups are so powerful. They're so powerful that I'm, I have no problem two to three times in my size on these trades. So, you know, in, 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 for some people, for some people, you know, that might be a little scary, but we've gotten it to the point where we know the data. We know exactly, you know, what the probabilities of that trade. We know exactly how big of a stop loss we need to go ahead and use in order to be, uh, in order for, for, for these setups to actually play out as designed, right? So if right now you're trading and it's random stop outs, you know, every trade or it's random take profits every trade or random entries and one day it works, one day it doesn't. If you're done with the, the, the randomness in your trading and you're ready to kind of create a nice, smooth, consistent P&L, 
yeah, you definitely want to jump on board with us so we can kind of help you get things aligned. So hope to see you guys in the room. The link will be in the description. Jump on board. Would love to meet you and get you going so we can all make money together. Take care and have a great weekend.